Welcome to LSJ Today. Here are your top stories. Lincolnshire Police have used a taser on 16 under 18 year olds. The Islamic Association of Lincoln have said they will need another £300,000 before the new mosque can be completed. And I talked to market storeholders about the shortage of Brussels sprouts. Good afternoon and welcome to LSJ Today. I'm Elliot Dalton. And I'm Jess Ward. We have all the stories from around the region, but first, our top story. Lincolnshire Police received the fourth highest complaints in the country about its officers it has been disclosed. The Police Legitimacy Report, compiled by Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Consta Constabulary, independently assesses the legitimacy of police forces in England and Wales. Lincolnshire Police received 383 complaints. The national average is 268. The force was unable to join us today for an interview, however, it did provide us with a statement. Here's an extract from the Lincolnshire report. HMIC says, The force's own strategic assessment cites sexual misconduct as the misconduct category with the largest increase of allegations between 2012 and 2015. But the force has not undertaken further assessment of this problem to understand the risk it poses to the force and to the public. It's decision day in the county as the people of Sleaford and North Highcombe are heading to the polls to vote in a parliamentary by-election. Polls close at 10 o'clock tonight and the next MP is expected to be announced in the early hours of Friday morning. Throughout the night, our political correspondent Jared Johnson will be giving us updates and he joins us now. Jared, you've got a long and busy night ahead. Just explain what you'll be doing. Get yourself a coffee, Jared, because I think that does look like it's going to be a long night. The Lincoln Arabic School for All has said their doors are open for everyone and anyone who wants to learn and understand the language. The school reopened at Lincoln College and teaches students from a range of backgrounds. Daniel Khan has this report. The Islamic Association of Lincoln believe they will need another £300,000 before the building of the new mosque can be completed. The new mosque will be built on the site of a former dairy factory on the corner of Dixon Street and Bolton Park Road. Natasha Ireton burke has more. One in three employees in Lincoln aren't earning enough money to live on. New figures from the Office for National Statistics show that roughly 19,000 jobs in Lincoln aren't paying their workers the living wage. The City of Lincoln Council is now working with local businesses to ensure that employees are earning as much as they can. Christina Curtis has more. And finally, you either love them or you hate them. No, we're not on about Marmite, but Brussels sprouts. The vegetable is often a topic of conversation over the Christmas period, but after a moth invasion over the summer, could we be seeing less of the little green things this Christmas? Jess went to find out how supplies in Lincoln have been affected. 